I'm your English teacher. So how are you all students? Hope you are keeping well. So are you ready for your classes? You should be ready, isn't it? So those who, who all are in English classes are uh, on this online classes, please take out your page number 79, chapter 10, The Lost Pumpkin, part 1. I repeat, chapter 10, The Lost Pumpkin, part 1. Okay, now we'll go back to the classes, okay? Help, help, he has robbed us, the thief. A loud voice woke up, saw Mia. Rubbing her eyes, she jumped out of bed and ran to the window. In the kitchen below, she could see her grandfather angrily waving his walking stick. Samya ran down the stairs with her brother Rohit. So what happened is, uh, it was a morning time and someone said, help, help, he has robbed us, the thief. So um, there was a one person, Dadaji, like Dadaji means a grandfather, no? Uh, you used to call uh, uh, him as Dadaji. So when he woke up in the morning and when he went into the garden, uh, he said, help, help, someone has robbed us, someone has stolen the things. A loud voice came and after hearing all this sound, there was a one girl, Soumya. Then when uh, it was a morning time, so when she heard this sound, she was like rubbing her her eyes and stretching herself like this and that no and she was about to uh, like wake up and because suddenly she heard that sound and she was like waving her eyes she was rubbing her eyes so what happened is she jumped out of the bed and she ran to the window just to look at what happened uh, from uh, who is screaming and what happened no she was very curious to know that and she jumped out of the bed in the kitchen garden, she could see her father angrily waving his walking stick. So what happened is, when she went down, she saw her grandfather and he was like quite very much angry. He wasn't very much angry and with his stick. Uh, and he was a very old person, no? Grandfather, they are old, they need one kind of a stick to, to walk because it gives them some kind of a support. Isn't it? They give them a, some kind of a support. That's why that uh, grandfather, that Dadaji, he was carrying one kind of a stick. So what happened is, Soumya ran down the stairs with her brother Rohit. And Soumya was um, that grandfather's um, daughter, like granddaughter. Okay. And Soumya and Rohit were, uh, were the um, brothers and sisters. And they were staying in a one home. Dadaji stood near a bed of vegetables. His face was red with anger. What happened? Dadaji asked Samya. So what happened is Dadaji he was like very angry, like because someone has stolen something, and his face was uh, with uh, his face was like red. It becomes red because he was in very anger. No. So Samya when she come downstairs, she asked. What happened, Dadaji? Why are you like screaming? What happened? And like Dadaji was unable to speak, Dadaji pointed his stick to a spot, Soumya. And because of the angerness that Dadaji couldn't speak, when Soumya asked what happened, he couldn't speak. He just uh, pointed out his stick to the spot where the um, from where the things have been stolen. He just spotted, he just pointed the, his stick that look there, look over there, something has happened over there. He was showing like that, but he was unable to speak. He didn't speak at all, a single word. So what happened is, Soumya looked then again, then looked again and screamed. Then, uh, it was the morning time, she looked at the side. Uh, for once she should, uh, she looked at once and again and again she looked over there. So what happened and after looking over there, she screamed. Yeah, something has happened. And she screamed like, oh no, it's gone. And like, it was like, she was also very surprised to see uh, that something has happened. Uh, but let's see what has happened. We have to go through the chapter that only we can know. And please friends, please underline the words which are very important, okay, which are like colored, color, which have been already colored. So what happened is, 
Rohit, still confused, asked what's gone. And he also came out of his room and he was like, what happened? He was happy. Soumya saw that spot. She uh, came to know that, yeah, the thing has been taken up. The thing has been stolen up. But the, but the thing was, Rohit was unable to understand, like, what has, what has been happened. Okay. Then my pumpkin, my precious pumpkin, called Dadaji. Then uh, at the time he uh, he screamed. He said that uh, my pumpkin, my precious pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin is you know it's a vegetable. But uh, do you think that some kind of a vegetable could be very precious to someone else? But according to this chapter, this pumpkin, the precious. Uh, you know what is the meaning of precious? Very valuable. Okay. Meaning of precious is very valuable. And children, please learn this word meaning also. It is very important for you because if you will not know the words and meanings of that, then you will be finding it quite difficult to understand the chapter. So before understanding the chapter, you should also know about the words and meanings right so today just learn at least one or two word meanings the meaning of precious is very valuable so for that grandfather for the dadaji that pumpkin was very precious okay by this time a crowd had collected uh, collected at the scene so what happened is over there when he was uh, screaming uh, all the crowded uh, it becomes uh, all the crowded all the people came over there just to see like what has happened why what has happened to this home what has happened to the members of this home uh, and he's screaming right so all the people of that place came over there and crowded had been collected over there the grand gardener the gardener was in tears and there was the gardener uh, because this Dalaji, they were having a one garden where they used to grow their uh, crops, their vegetables and all, no? So, um, they used to keep one gardener over there for their garden to keep, take care of their, uh, those crops, those vegetables. So, when the gardener came, he was in tears, okay? He was also feeling sad because something has stolen up. And what was that something? It was a pumpkin which was stolen up. Okay, someone has stolen that pumpkin and gardener. Uh, why do you think children that uh, gardener's son? Then you have to, uh, you're supposed to write Paltu. The name of that gardener's son was Paltu. So he also, he was also looking sad. The milkman was curious to know what had happened and the washerman nodded wisely. So as I already told you that when the Dadaji was screaming, all the noise were coming out of from that home, all the people over around there uh, came over there. The milkman, the gardener, the son of that gardener, the washerman, the, mil uh, the milkman, all of them they came over there at the spot. Okay. So milkman was very curious. You know what is the uh, you know what is the meaning of curious? Curious means uh, if you want to know something to. Um, to know something very curiously okay you wanted to know about this and that that is called curiosity curious okay so that milkman was exactly not knowing what has happened okay he was not knowing what has happened but he was trying to know what has happened and very curious to know actually in real what has happened no he was knowing so what was noted wisely okay i saw him jump over the wall she said so at the time Somya said, I have seen uh, one person, he was uh, jumping from the wall over there. Okay. Nonsense, self said Patu. He came from the other side. I saw him. So at the time Paltu, he said, no, this is nonsense. Because I saw him, he was going from uh, there. He, was, he came from other side. Somya was saying that uh, she saw a person who was uh, jumping uh, from that wall okay and um, like Paltu was saying that uh, no this is nonsense I saw him that he came from another side why didn't you catch him then said Rohit then Rohit asked that if you saw that person that at that moment at that uh, particular time why didn't you catch him 
You sh you're supposed to catch him, right? Just then, Soumya squealed a footprint. At the time, uh, at that very time, she squealed. Soumya squealed a, a footprint. What is the meaning of uh, squeal, children? It is written on the side of your chapter. It is written that cried out in a loud, shrill voice. Precious and attached to him. So what happened is his pumpkin was always the best. No other vegetable could match it. And his pumpkin was best over there. Okay. And no other vegetable could match it. It was the best and that's why he was getting the first prize for his contest. This year's pumpkin was used but now it's gone. Of course, Mr. Kapoor was the thief. So what happened? Dadaguri is thinking, uh, this year our pumpkin has uh, been, uh, it, was, it was too big and it was very huge and it, was, uh, it looks very good and I am sure that it was very tasty also. So Dadaguri is thinking also that uh, if, even if they like, they uh, attended, they participated in the contest, they would have won the contest but the thing was now they were uh, they were not having any pumpkins so he was feeling very sad because now he was saying like that now my pumpkin is gone and it, it's uh, uh, it will not come again so he's thinking like that and he was feeling too much sad and even the Soumya and the Rohit they were feeling sad too for him so what happened is he was thinking that of course Mr. Kapoor was thief and he was saying like that no one but none has taken my pumpkin but it was only the Mr. Kapoor, the gardener because he's the one who comes to our garden, he's the one who knows about us, he's the one who knows about lots of our things and he could be the thief because he could easily enter and easily can go out. No? So he could be the thief, uh, he could be the, uh, he could have been the stolen my pumpkins. Uh, it was the thought of Dadaji. He had challenged Dadaji uh, saying he would grow a better pumpkin and win the prize. And one day, um, and one day that gardener, he also said, um, maybe in teasing way, I guess, uh, he said uh, to Dadaji in one day that he will grow best pumpkin, more better pumpkin than him and uh, he will win the contest. Okay, uh, he had challenged once. Not this time, but once in previous time, uh, he had challenged to grandfather that I will grow a better pumpkin than you and I will won that prize. So Dadaji is recalling, uh, he is thinking all these thoughts uh, because uh, like he had um, previously he had told me like this, he had said me already, he has said me that he will grow a more better uh, pumpkin than me and he will won the prize. So he could be the thief, he was just assuming, Dadaji was just assuming. So what happens is, many a time he has come looking around with the excuse of tasting Granny's pumpkin halwa. So what happened is, uh, that uh, at this time Dadaji is recalling all the things, what, uh, what he, uh, he used to say, that gardener, what he used to say, what he used to uh, pretend. So most of the time that gardener used to came to their home. Whose home? Grandfather's home, no? So uh, to taste the pum uh, pumpkin's halwa. Uh, Dadaji's wife used to make uh, halwa which is made up of pumpkin so it was a pumpkin halwa so um, in excuse of that he used to come to uh, their home and he used to taste that pumpkin halwa so that's why that uh, Dadaji is thinking that with, the, with this excuse he used to always enter our home better than Mathu's halwas he said now, and he always used to say that um, this halwa is better than Mathru's halwa. Okay, so we will see who is Mathru later on. Okay, maybe Mathru, Mathru is a shopkeeper where he used to sell halwa. So that's why that gardener is saying to grandmother that your halwa is better than Mathru's halwa. Okay, now Soumya tried to reason 
with her grandfather, Dadaji, we cannot just march into Mr. Kapoor's house and call him a thief. Maybe he hasn't taken the pumpkin. So Soumya was, was saying that, Dadaji, we should not blame him for this. We cannot blame him because we are not sure about that. Uh, he has taken the pumpkin, he has stolen the pumpkin or not. We doesn't have any proof. So how we could blame him directly? So at least before blaming him, at least we should have some kind of a proof Right, some kind of evidence so that we can at least blame him. Uh, so Swamiya was saying, let's not blame him because we don't know. Maybe he has not taken the pumpkin. Swamiya is convincing Dadaji. Okay, I know he has said Dadaji. Dadaji, is, uh, he was in very anger. He said, no, no, I know he is the thief. He, he is the only one who has taken. Dadaji was in, in angerness. No, that's why he was saying like that. So what happened is, I have an idea, said Rohit. So Rohit said, I have an idea. Let's pretend to visit him, Dadaji. While you speak to him, Swami and I will look around. So Rohit made a plan. He made a plan that um, I have an idea just to check out uh, whether he is the real thief or not. Let's do one thing. He is saying to Swami and Dadaji, let's do one thing. Let's visit to that gardener's home. Okay. Let's visit over there and let's pretend like uh, we are uh, just entering their room casually only. Okay, let's pretend to visit their room and while you, well that gardener and Dadaji, you both, both of you will be talking, busy in talking at that time. Uh, me and excuse, uh, me and Soumya will find an excuse and will check out his home. Even like uh, if it is that pumpkin is with him or not. Okay, he said like that. So what happened is, wow, wow, okay, this is your first great idea of the year, he is Soumya. So what happened, Soumya said, oh my god, wow, this is a good plan, this is a good idea. And this is for the first time you are uh, sounding sound, uh, sense, some kind of a sense. Otherwise you wouldn't have given such kind of ideas before. But this time your idea was really good. So for the first time in this year you have spoken something good. So she was teasing, okay? Swamya was teasing, okay. So off they went to Mr. Kapoor's house. He and Dadaji soon began to argue about their vegetable gardens. So that is on page number 84. Turn out your page. Okay, there are two parts now of pumpkin. Pumpkin part one and pumpkin, the lost pumpkin part two. So let's come to part two. You can guess what followed. Mr. Kapoor turned red and purple with red. So what happened is, now Mr. Kapoor became very angry. Because uh, now he came to know what was the reason of them to enter their house suddenly. Okay, uh, he came to know that uh, they, uh, they wanted to check my house. And maybe they are thinking that I am the thief. I have taken their uh, pumpkin. So in that, uh, so that made him very anger and he become, he turned into red and purple with the anger. So what happened is, the children did not know what to say and Dadaji was now very worried. And children were also now, uh, were, they were also not knowing now what to say, what should, uh, how should they react now. Because he was in very anger that uh, Mr. Kapoor, the gardener, he was in very anger and now they didn't know what should they do and they were not having any kind of answer also. So Dadaji was also very worried because they were not having any kind of answer. They were even not having any kind of proof. If they could have find the proof, if the Mr. Kapoor would, uh, would be the real thief, then they could have find the pumpkin and they could have the answer to reply Mr. Kapoor that you are the thief, you have taken us. But this thing didn't happen because they, they were not having any kind of proof and they were like silent, they were not having any kind of answer also. That's why that made Dadaji uh, very worried. They returned home feeling sad and they returned home from there and they were very sad over there. Okay. Uh, why they were sad? Because they couldn't find the pumpkin and they couldn't find the real thief also. Okay. Dadaji went, went into his room. When they returned to their uh, home, uh, they returned home sadly and Dadaji, he went to his room. 
came. It was already noon and the children were hungry as they had not eaten anything since morning. So it was the afternoon time. It was a noon time and the, um, the children were feeling very much hungry. Okay, because they had not taken anything from since morning. Okay, so uh, that made him very uh, hungry and because if you don't don't take breakfast and obviously till afternoon you will you automatically feel very hungry, isn't it? So uh, it was uh, already noon and the children were hungry as they had not eaten anything since morning. Let's go to Mathu's halwai shop. Said Rohit. So then at the time Rohit said, let's go to Mathu's halwai shop. Uh, at their shop we can eat something. Okay. Yes, hot samosas and halwa. Agreed Sonia. And off they went on Rohit's bicycle. Okay. So in the bicycle of Rohit, they went to uh, Mathu's shop just to have something. And they were uh, thinking to have um, hot samosas and halwa. Okay. And Sonia was also very happy. Um, not happy but she agreed uh, let's okay let's go we should go over there and we should have something okay okay children till here we'll study and next class I'll take tomorrow till then I'll give you some question and answers okay I have given you already given you some questions and answers but uh, this is for those friends those who have not still written please uh, write it now and I will write only the answers. Question you can copy from the book. Okay, I am writing only the answers. Page number 81. Point B. Answer these questions. Okay, I am write, uh, writing only the answers. What did Somya find near the pumpkin plant?
because Mr. Kapoor was the one who was having large footprint. That's why Rohit was uh, blaming him, no? Because he's the only one, Mr. Kapoor was the only one who was having a large footprint. Now question 3, can I rub the one? No, no, I don't rub the one. I'll You can write all these answers and children now come to the point A Re, uh, page number 81 point A read the sentences and answer the questions point 1 help help he has robbed us the thief who said these words? I will just speak up. You just write the answers. Okay. I have given you. And those who have written the answers. You can check your answers again. Help, help. He has robbed us. The thief. But a question is. Who said these words? So answer is. Dadaji said these words. I repeat. Your answer is. Dadaji said these words. I'm giving you time to uh, write who has not written. Dada ji said these words. Point B. What had made, what had upset the uh, speaker? And why Dada ji overheard the speaker is Dada ji, you know? What had made the, uh, what had upset the speaker? Why Dada ji was speaker, uh, like sad, why he was upset? So your answer would be the speaker is upset because the speaker is upset because the pumpkin has been stolen. The pumpkin has stolen. Okay. You can write uh, because the pumpkin has uh, stolen which was very precious to him. I repeat, the speaker was upset because the pumpkin had been stolen, which was very precious to him. Point C. Who was woken up by these words and what did he or she do next? Your answer would be Somya woke up. Somya woke up by listening all these sounds. And what she did is she rubbed her eyes. What she did is she rubbed her eyes. And then she jumped out of bed and ran to the window. She rubbed her eyes, she jumped out of bed and ran to the window. I'm again I'm repeating, okay? Question is, who was woke up by these words and what did she or he do next? Your answer is, Somya woke up by these words and she rubbed her eyes. And then she jumped out of bed and ran to the window. Now point two. I knew Kapoor was behind this. Always after my pumpkins. Come on, let's get him. Who said, uh, come on, let's get him. Who said these words? Again over here, Dadaji said these words. Please write the answer. Those who have not written. If you are still confused that what I am teaching and what question answer I am giving then page number 81 the lost pumpkin part 1 and question number 1 point A point A question number point A 2 the question over there is I knew Kapoor was behind this 
after, always after my pumpkins. Come on, let's get him. And question is, who said these words? Your answer would be, Dadaji said these words. Are you still confused or should I write? I think I should write, no? Okay, I'll write for you, okay? First write the question number three also. Why was the pumpkin precious to Dadaji? Tomorrow I'm going to give you answer 3, okay? Okay, your class are raising here. Till much, till then take care of yourself. Have a good day. Thank you class.